Indian journalist forced to strip for criticizing Hindu nationalist leader. On April 2nd, the local police in Madhya Pradesh, uh, wait, so um, eight men, including a journalist and a prominent theater artist, were arrested, beaten, stripped, and photographed. According to NDTV, the incident happened when uh, Kanishka Tiwari, a local journalist and YouTuber, tried to give coverage of the protest against the arrest of a local theater artist, Nehraj Kunder. Tiwari was arrested along with his cameraman and was interrogated by the police. The reason for their arrest was their negative coverage of the local BJP member of the Legislative Assembly, uh, Kedarnath Shukla. Kundar was accused by the politician of creating a fake Facebook account and posting quote-unquote abusive posts against him and his son. Majdol Soni, station house office for the uh, Kotawali police, explained, we keep them in jail this way, meaning stripped, so that they cannot, um, I can't say this word on YouTube, uh, so self-delete, so, so that they cannot commit self-deletion using their clothes. However, Mukesh uh, Shri Vastava, the police superintendent of Madhya Pradesh, said the incident is being investigated and that, quote, such action is not acceptable. Yeah, yeah I don't think these journalists... okay, everyone was angry with this incident. Yeah, it doesn't seem like these journalists was in danger of self self deletion. I don't think they were. And even if they were, even if they were, and even if this was standard practice, even if we grant that, how did this come to be photographed and circulated online? Oh my God. Yeah, you're right. I think the intentions are clear. Like, you read yeah. what the comment that I highlighted. Uh, Captain Nadar is saying, oh, yes, the standard arresting procedure, strip them just to embarrass any of the accused. Exactly. Yes, so I think they, it might be that they do this to embarrass them, uh, but then they say it's because of their protection. Yeah, obviously. This is about humiliation, and it's like um, like a, a blatant um, violation of their human rights, not only just as what? journalists and what this means for the freedom of free press, but also just prisoner rights. Yeah. So <laughs> Ghost Bunny like, saying, Oh no, they said mean things about me. My feelings are hurt. No, not my feelings. My wheel <laughs> what is that? Like, my feelings. <laughs> my feelings were hurt like that. Um okay, that's insane. What it's India like is this normal? Katie was saying this is normal. I thought this is like an address like is small of what individual like is this like common in india to do this um, oh yeah okay. look at this so, read this eric eric is saying eric is answering uh like saying the, in, eric is saying the indian police do this on a regular basis this is their standard operating procedure don't be surprised so i think people are surprised to see it um so in their face and put on the internet and viral in this way but i mean like the indian police are infamous for being a severely abusive severely severely I, abusive. i think i think the reason why this gets more attention is the combination of um the fact how ridiculous this uh, method is plus how what the crime is supposed to be they just you know the crime is that they just said they covered a nationalist leader in a not a good way so it's just like multiple layers of outrageous and ridiculousness together made this uh, such a big deal, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was, it was just so brazen and blatant. Like this caused huge outrage. Um, I mean, the, the Indian police are well known for, um, yeah, sexually humiliating anyone, freaking anyone. Um, and this is one of their methods to do so. And also just like murdering people in custody. Okay. Well, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> all right. That's the, that, that's the end of your thoughts. Yeah. I mean, do you have anything else? It's obviously like insane. I don't know what else to add to that. 
Do you have anything to add to that? Um, I think, yeah. So the, the journalist, Mr. Tiwari, this is a quote, claimed, um, uh, wait, no, no, it was another person who was there who said they threatened to parade us naked in the city if we run the story. The police made the post viral. This is a violation of our human rights. So this person who was involved in this is saying not only did they did they do this to us to per humiliate us, they were threatening us with actually taking us into the street and doing this publicly, like a like a shame parade. Specifically, if it as a threat, if they go and publish the story, so blatant state interference in the free press. Yeah secular democracy might okay i can't swear right now you know what i was gonna say um all right can we move on and clap for the oh let's read this comment by pk and then we can move. pk is saying indian police learned well from the british raj their entire role is to put down the public hmm. all right let's clap for the oh and oxymoron is responding to that let's read that as well Oxymoron is responding and saying, PK, not really. Just because something makes the news doesn't make it worse. U.S. cops kill like 9,000 people. It just doesn't get pressed because mm -hmm. U.S. has high face-saving culture. What? I think I think U.S. police has doesn't have a very good reputation. I don't know what you're talking about. I think a lot of people are... Um, U.S. police gets very much criticized for being trigger happy all the time, all over the media. I don't know what world you live in, but that's the world yeah. we live in right now. I don't. Uh, I and I also don't interpret also, the U.S. As having a high face saving culture. I mean, I can see it in some respects, but in general, like we are the. Wait, did Susanna get um, like, muted from? Wait, you got cut. You got cut, Susie. You're back now. Can you You're hear back? me? Yes, I can hear. Oh, okay. Basically, I was just saying I am skeptical to the amount the U.S. has face-saving culture, particularly mm. because we are some of the most self-critical, openly, publicly, scathingly that I have, like, that I'm aware of. Yeah, you're right, actually. Safe. Yeah, you're right. Wait, what the hell? You're right. Actually, when we think From of our own, like not even just the public, like our own politicians will go after and dog our own institutions. Yes. And when it comes to uh, face saving, we usually think Asia. We don't think US. Like, you, I, and accurately, we think Japan, right? We think like the Middle East. We think, you know. We don't think like we don't yeah we don't think united states it's actually if anything uh, overly like we think like maybe some western countries are overly critical they're rather than yeah and actually Katie, the point like, of being self-flagellating <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> they're like every no yeah united states is a country that has so many citizens so many of its citizens think that everything that goes wrong in the world is because of them like oh like oh somebody some country has a problem it must be because of we did it. it must be united states we must have it was it was our fault again like that's how bad it is but anyways katie is katie is saying thing. u.s cops are the most covered cops in the media what the f wth indian cops have on occasions uh r worded accused people to death i mean right, yeah. let's be clear there's severe abuse that happens in u.s prisons and policing systems like that same thing happens in the u.s as well i just think that there's more coverage and it's m like not normalized like i remember talking right. to katie about how like police brutality is just like normalized in india like it doesn't even make the news rarely um i don't know and i, I i'm not saying that the u.s doesn't have any face saving culture i think everyone every culture does to some degree i just think it's exhibited more in maybe our foreign policy trying to cover our ass Okay, we're saying ass now, and like on YouTube. Is that okay? Okay. Same we enough. Yeah, 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 ass, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we do need to move. It's to okay the next if one. I say an ass with two Z's. 